Today we're going to be reviewing the 56 egg incubator from Asian. This one holds 56 eggs and it has an automatic egg turner. Now I've had experience with other um, styrofoam incubators before and this one I purchased after researching for probably a good year before deciding on this one when I saw it on Amazon. So we'll put a link to that in the description box and we're going to tell you why we really do um, prefer this one over the other brands. Um, one of the things that I really like about it is like when you go into lockdown and it's time for the chicks to start hatching out, um, some of the styrofoam ones have little bitty um, windows and when they're starting to pip out, you really can't see it's really hard to see um, where they're starting to hatch out and so having an entire the top is entirely plastic you can see everything instead of trying to you know wrench your neck to look through a small little window um, something else I love this thing monitors our humidity and our temperature it's in Celsius but it keeps it at about 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit the humidity is a little high right now because we just added water, um, but ideally up to about day, day uh, 18, you want to keep it around 55 degrees. Another really neat feature um, is that it has what day it is. Um, we're on day 16 and two more days. We will take out the egg turners and remove all the eggs and get ready for the chicks to start hatching out. It's what you call lockdown, and during that time, it is essential not to open it up. Now I've had to do that in emergency cases where I had chicks that did not hatch with the rest of them and I was able to hatch them out successfully. But one of the big no-no's um, of egg hatching is opening up your incubator um, from day 18 on to 21, where around day 21 they can is when the majority of them should have hatched out. And what's neat about this one also is um, you've got this little hole in the side where you can add water during lockdown with this thing right here that where you can add water to keep the humidity up now on, on lockdown you want to go up to about 70 percent or more at least 70 percent humidity to make sure that the babies aren't shrink wrapped and trapped inside the egg as they're hatching out humidity is really important and with this um, you can add it without having the other ones you have to take the top off pour water into the trays underneath and you can um, if anyone's already starting to hatch out you can shrink wrap them with that membrane drying out from the opening and the sudden drop in humidity and you can have um, a dangerous situation there it's it's manageable um, but not not ideal so this one is is really cool that you can add water without opening it during lockdown um, I will say that it has um, been a challenge to keep, you can see right now, my humidity is at 69%. That's not the 55 I want. So as I'm adding water, I need to be careful not to overdo. And then what all I have to do is just open it up and um, let some of that humidity out and um, bring that humidity back down if it gets a little too high it's really important the first week that the humidity not be too high right now we're okay because we're so close day 16 to the lockdown day 18. Um, so let's open it up and i want to show you another uh, cool feature go ahead and open it up um, when you open it up you'll see that an alarm is about to go off as the temperature starts to drop as the hygrometer reads that the temperature and the humidity go down, it takes a second to uh, catch up with reality. But as it detects that the humidity and temperature are dropping, It takes a few seconds to get there. Yeah, as it's detecting, you see the humidity is going down, and now we have an alarm. So this will let you know um, when things are critical and to come in and check and make sure the lid's on, to add more water, and you can hit reset to stop it while you're um, 
getting the water to get the humidity back up. I've never had the temperature drop. The temperature stays steady until I open it up. Um, but it's, it's water that has to be added periodically. All right, so we're going to give you, since we're on day 16, we should be able to candle one of these. And hopefully we can show you the baby uh, inside the egg. The candling is something you want to do on the front end to make sure. You can see here we've got some empty slats. These, those were eggs that either were not fertile and did not develop or had uh, very early fetal death. And perhaps we'll do a, a video later on on how to candle and how to um, determine if the eggs are fertile or not. But we've had a pretty good, you can see the majority of them are still there. And so now we're going to candle and show you what it looks like, what you're looking for as you candle them. It's better to do this in the dark. All right, so you can see the air pocket right there. All right, so we turned the lights off in the garage. This is where we keep them to see uh, a bit better. A darker room allows you to candle a bit better, but you can see how here's the top of the egg, and you can see there's an air pocket in there. That's how the baby breathes in there. And then let's look at the bottom again. We saw the baby move, move just a moment ago. Let's see if we can capture that. Let's jiggle him a little bit. Anyway, you can see the baby in there. You can see the veins. And um, some people can even see the pip. There's an inside pip before they pip through to the outside. And some people actually will candle their eggs to see that. But anyway, this is a healthy egg. The baby should be uh, hatching out in less than a week. And that's how you, how you candle them. It Can you see? Baby's moving. All right, move that thumb, see if we can. Sure, right here oh, are the veins. Shy. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good for So another thing that I really love about this incubator is um, compared to the styrofoam incubators that I've used before, um, their recommendation was to turn it on for like 24 hours in order to get the temperature up, to get the humidity up, to prepare it to put eggs in. But let's say that you had an emergency situation where you have a broody hen in your flock and they've just abandoned a nest and you need to get them into the incubator and you need all the conditions perfect as you're doing that. Um, you want an incubator to be ready immediately. And this one, I kid you not, was ready um, with perfect temperature and perfect humidity when we first bought it um, in like two minutes. And because you've got the readout, you can see immediately, it'll get up to 38 and a half degrees Celsius, that's 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And the humidity is immediately um, apparent. So, and again, I love that it tells me that in two days, it's time for lockdown and we'll be able to, um, you know, I'm not the great at keeping track of time, so this is really helpful for me. But I love how it was just instantly ready. I put my eggs in immediately, and ooh, it's reading that the temperature's low, the lid's not quite on properly. We'll set reset and mitigate that as the temperature gets back up. Yeah, if you don't put the lid back on, then some of the temperature will escape, but see, it's so cool that it will tell you that. So really, really do love this. We're going to do a follow-up video where we show um, going into lockdown, taking the egg turners out, and then, of course, as the babies are pipping out and drying off, and as we get them into the brooder, uh, we'll document that as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this. We really do love this incubator. It can be a little touchy getting the water just right. Um, you can put too much water in, and then you've got to take the lid off and it let some escape as you're trying to get it just right. But between 55 and 60 for the first week is ideal. And then of course, it's really easy during lockdown to get that humidity way up and then keep it there. But you have to check it a few times a day um, because of course it will escape. Um, but with the other ones, you just can't tell. You don't know if the humidity is right. You don't know what the level is. And so we have really, really been pleased with this. and. 
We cannot wait to see all the babies hatching out at the same time with this huge um, window that we can see everything. So.